welcome to this video. My name is Manya and I'm finally thrifting again after a break. If you watched my vitamin D video, you'll know why I haven't been uploading and thrifting, reopening my store, but now I'm back at it. I'm really excited. I'm here in a very small village. I haven't been to the store in quite a while, but I remember that the prices are really good. Never looked at the home decor because back then I only went in for clothing. So I hope that they're going to have some good vintage gems. If you have a small kid with you, just like me, I always fill a very, very long plastic bag with tons of stuff, so it's going to take them a very long time to eat. Oh, I want some food. And that way you're hopefully going to have some peace and quiet while you're thrifting. Oh, I love that they're having fresh flowers here for sale. That's so Dutch. You got me. We are two. Too lucky. Emily, your name spells home. Since the day you were born, you have always. Done. Next to plants, this thrift store is also selling local produce and even potatoes. Oh, ho! Oh, I quite like these wall sconce candle holders, but they were for pillar candles and I personally prefer like the thinner candlesticks. Otherwise, these would have come home with me. My soulmate sister, you know you are. This tea set was so lovely, and yes, I love those murky colors still. Unfortunately, the teapot had a big chip, otherwise I would have gotten this from my shop. Pattern also slightly reminds me of the onion pattern by Scheurich that I love so much and that I'm still on the hunt for. Remember when you were five, every day by my side. Those faces are so Y2K and totally in right now. I used to have these in my teen room, a green one and a blue one. They were sold at Ikea back in the day for one euro a piece. Lots of people love them and I'm not a fan anymore. You know you are my double flame whisper, my soulmate sister. You know you are. These little dishes were so cute, maybe I should have picked the critter one up as a ring dish to replace my current one in the kitchen. I like this one better, but totally didn't think about it at that moment. You know you are. I was also considering getting this planter. It was definitely from the 70s, but not quite in my style. I was doubting for a while, but then I left it for someone else who would really love it. So this doesn't fit my style at all, but this chandelier is so cool. I've never seen one that is metal with actual ceramics and also the typical Dutch blue and white. It's so special. You know you are the one that picks me up, the one that fills my cup. You know you are. So before I went in, I remember the store being a lot bigger, but I was done looking through a lot of stuff really fast. I found two things that I'm very excited about. Both are going to be for my shop. Both are really cool, but I'm actually heading to another store right now because I still have time. Actually, my husband worked a night shift <laughs> tonight, so um, he's at home trying to sleep, so that's why I'm trying to stay out of the house. Um, I mean, I'm quiet. My kid's not. So heading to one more store in another town and... I've never been to that one, so I'm really, really curious to see if it's a good one or not. While I was driving around to find the thrift store, which must be somewhere here, but I still haven't found it, I saw this. This is like a, a church or something, and they're having a clothing sale um, today. So I'm going to stop by there very spontaneously and check out if they have some good stuff for me or my kids, or let's just see. Thank goodness I have some cash.
This sale was really nice, but honestly, I don't need any clothes right now, really. I did consider getting these like new with tags mango shorts, but they did look a little see-through and they were a size too big. They're really cute though. part of the church so they showed me the way I found some good clothing for my oldest daughter for Naomi and my husband as well this church thrift store was really tiny but I say you never know where the treasures hide and I was right I found something so exciting there that I totally forgot to pick up this leather purse <laughs> such a bummer See this amazingness that I see in the left cabinet? Yes, I did pick up the whole set and I will talk about it more in depth in the haul portion. This find truly made my day. Good morning or well at least it's morning here. It's the next day and I am back in a little town here that I actually also went to yesterday when I went to the church sale. It's called Dokum and I'm gonna go to at least two more stores today. I have never been to this store and also not the next that I'm planning on going to and I'm really curious to see what kind of stores they are so that's Bella, she's with me. <laughs> I quite like these chrome and wood chairs, I just don't have any use for them, but they are pretty cool. This looks like one of those Yugoslavian wedding cups that Laura Caldwell will sometimes pick up. The quality didn't seem that great though and I'm not into the super shiny finish so I didn't end up getting it. I did however really like this ceramic majolica pitcher, however, it did have a big chip on the side and wait for it, there is a theme coming at you for this thrift store. I just got similar bookends for Naomi's room and I was thinking whether I should get these as well. Um, I didn't though because I don't have an immediate use for them at the moment. I got so excited when I spotted this planter. I knew this had to be German and from the 1970s and I was right. It's by Strela, which is from East Germany, but it was really chipped. I was so sad that I had to put it back. This mortar and pestle set was quite pretty and it looked like it was made out of alabaster but the pestle was already pretty used and not in great shape. I found a bunch of enamel bowls and doubted whether to buy them. I didn't and now I have major regrets. I really want to switch out my plastic bowls and I don't even understand myself like why I didn't buy these. This vase was quite interesting but it had a huge crack in the middle part of it. These birds were also cute. I might have picked them up if they had been a different color but I don't really love this shade of pink. These were so similar to the other wall sconces I saw at the other store, but same thing, they were for tall pillar candles. Another 70s vase, 
with a huge chip. You're already recognizing the theme I was talking about earlier. Also, this swamp planter is so cool. I love the colors, but it had, and everybody repeat after me, a big crack. These dishes were also 70s amazing orangey goodness, but most of them had chips as well. store right now i hope that that one's gonna be better the upside to this store is though that they do have carts which a lot of the stores at least here in this area do not so that is pretty good but other than that i was not into it i did find a couple things for myself which i'm going to show you but it was not really a success i'd say life is a one this shop hi amazing vintage the first thing i saw and loved was this poppy painting i love the painting so much but the frame was in pretty bad shape it doesn't really come across that bad on camera but trust me it was and they wanted 40 i think or even 50 euros for it and for me personally that just wasn't worth it because you definitely would have had to get it reframed or restored They have so so many West German ceramics at the store compared to all the other stores here in the area. If you're looking for that style here in like Friesland in the north of the Netherlands, I definitely recommend the store. The prices are higher than what I'm used to in Germany, but if you're buying them for yourself, definitely it's still a really great bargain. picked up this little planter that was only one euro and I'll tell you more about what I'm going to do with it in the haul portion of the video. Trust in our wings to fly. Sometimes we're crashing down, but we get up and start from the ground. This is actually an asparagus bowl. I've never seen anything like this before and it's kind of pretty cool. I don't eat a ton of asparagus, so for me this wouldn't be worth it. Still, I do really like it. Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs. You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high. Even if this little mouse cheese plate is so cute. I didn't get it because we don't have a lot of space for it, but I'm kind of regretting leaving it there. Even if the sky is falling. I spotted this vintage print and I have the exact same one at home. Then when I looked at it a little to the left, I noticed the same style print with a different design and I had to grab it. I guess this is the start of a collection. They had lots of 70s bowls here. They're quite common here and in Germany, but so far I haven't really picked any up. I'm 
I'm actually going to another thrift store because that one is just around the corner from the one where I just been to. My kid is talking the whole time, and I have never I've never really looked at the home decor here. I used to go here when I was reselling brand name clothing back in the day, which I do not do anymore. Let's see what they have. I remember that the prices were quite good. I hope they still are because it's been a few years. The first thing I noticed when walking into this store was this little Jaspa West Germany vase and it was chipped. Definitely my theme for the day. You can see that I already put it in my cart before noticing that and back on the table it goes. I saw a few cute things here and there, but nothing that really caught my fancy. I did, however, need to show you these wooden shoes. I mean, we're in the Netherlands after all, and yes, where I live, and I'm not talking about the whole country, but where I live, people actually uh, wear them. I'm not one of those people. <laughs> I spotted this orange planter literally from across the other side of the store and just raced to get there. I've been looking for one in this kind of style for quite some time and it was only 2 euros. And this one is also cool but unfortunately chipped. Such a bummer. and I'm gonna hop right into what I got. I'm actually also gonna show you a few things that I found not during this thrift trip, but when I kind of couldn't really thrift a lot because I wasn't feeling that well, talked about that in my last video. So I went to one of my favorite thrift stores like once or twice and just picked up a couple things here and there. So I'm gonna show you those first. First off, I actually picked up a little candle holder there. Um, I put this candle in here. This one, this candle, I mean, I actually got in Germany. And this is a, a little speckled candle holder. Really kind of cute. And I'm not really sure if it actually is vintage, but it's speckled. I like speckled and it's a neutral color. So it fits with everything pretty much. And I think that this one was like th two, three euros, something like that. So and that same day I went there, I also got this vase. This is a mouth blown, hand blown vase, very likely Murano. I love the pattern with those kind of sort of dots, I'd have to say. And this one was only 150. It wasn't priced, so that's the price that the guy at the cash register gave me and I was very happy with the price. I also got those two little ceramic kind of cups there um, to probably store things in. They're not really for drinking, I'd assume. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna use that for. Maybe in the bathroom to store stuff in there, like, um, I don't know, like cotton pads or something like that. But I think that these are really nice and they're also not priced. So I'm pretty sure that I paid one euro a piece for these. Onto the very first store that I went to during my thrift trip, I actually only um, found two things at that store. The first thing that I got there is this really, really nice, very likely mid-century vase. It is speckled and it has this really cool bird and kind of abstract plant and also sun design. I'm not sure where it was made. I have a feeling that it's not from the Netherlands. I'd say it's maybe from Southern Europe or something. And um, it is also artist signed on the bottom. I've never really found something with that kind of vibe before and I really like it. And uh, the price is actually torn off the bottom. I'm not really sure how much I paid for it. I think it was around like six euros. Then I picked up something that is not very typical for me at all and I've never found anything like this before but I thought it was just so pretty and I'm also gonna put that in my store and this one is a jar 
a lidded jar and this is made of alabaster which is so cool and it actually says it here in French alabastre véritable my French I'm so sorry this lid and everything is all hand carved it has this floral design it's so beautiful I'm not sure whether this was used or is supposed to be used as a powder jar because they did have those back in the day but just judging from like the fact that it actually has a sticker on there I'm pretty sure that it's like not from the 20s or 30s is definitely newer it is definitely vintage and it is absolutely beautiful and it is quite weighty as well this would look so so good on a little dresser or like a little makeup nook it's still in really great shape as well the second store that i went to was not my favorite to put it nicely a lot of things they had were chipped and cracked or just not in really good condition so that was kind of a bummer however i did pick something up i picked up um this set of brass candle holders and this little guy as well because i think that this trio would look really good I'm not sure if i'm going to display it in my house right now maybe more around like christmas and fall time and uh, they were all a euro a piece so i got these for three euros behind that church was actually the thrift store that I was originally looking for that I couldn't find. And at first when I walked in, I thought, oh, I think maybe this is not going to be it. I'm not going to find anything until I walked around the very little corner of the store. I spotted the dishes in the cabinet. They were 30 euros for the whole set and they're amazing. It's so much. It's so much. It's three boxes full of dishes. First, I got these serving plates and the brand is called Porsche 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 Grund Porsche Grund I do not know Norwegian so I'm sorry but this is a set from the 1960s so it's a mid-century complete set of dishes so every plate is, has like a little bit the colors and the speckles are just somewhat different so they're all handmade studio pottery stoneware amazing and I've thought very long and hard whether I'm gonna keep them or not I have a tendency that I'm probably going to sell them because if I kept them, I it would mean that I have to sell one of my dish sets, which would either be my blue dishes behind me or these dishes, which are my Villagoy and Boch Botanica dishes. And I'm not willing to sell either of these, even though the blue set is not complete. This is like the set of my dreams and I'm still hunting them down. So if I sold that and then would find more of that blue set, I would be devastated. But I got um, a set of those plates. Then I also got a whole set of those dinner plates. They also have this amazing pattern. I'm showing you only four, but I actually got eight um, egg cup holders or egg holders, egg cups, I don't know what they're called. We also got a little teapot, which is so cute. I love it. And I also have three little plates, which I don't know, they might be like cake plates or something. They're just a little bit smaller than the first set of plates that I showed you. I'm holding up only two, but I have three of those really, really large, what I'd say are serving plates because they're gigantic. If you just look at my head, even though I do have a small head, but still, if you look at my head next to this, it's quite big. And there's a pepper shaker. It's kind of a bummer that the salt shaker is missing and actually still has something in it. I also have um, cups and saucers. So I think I have 11 cups and saucers. The set also contains actually two of these um, pots and they're not for cooking, they're for serving and they're even speckled. Oh gosh, did not break, no, it's all fine. They're also speckled on the inside. I'm not sure if you can actually see that, but I have two of those as well. This little pitcher, I assume, is very likely for gravy. I also have a few serving bowls. This one, which is quite, um, a larger one and this one which is more of a shallow one and this little teeny tiny one which is so cute would be so nice for like a dip or something there is also a set of a sugar bowl and a creamer and a whole stack of soup bowls that's that for this gigantic part of the haul we're still not done yet the second to last thrift store that you saw in my thrifting portion that was a store that had all those amazing west germany Fat lava vases, but they're way pricier than they usually are in Germany, which really just bummed me out so much. But I did get one vase, which I'm going to be selling in my shop. And it is this vase by Karsten's Tennishof. It is actually numbered 7323-25, so this is 25 centimeters high. This did cost me 14 euro 50, 
which it's is steep for what I'm used to, but technically it's still a pretty good price. Um, if you ever want to go to the store, I have all the addresses linked in the info box down below. This one is the second to last one, and this definitely is a vintage treasure trove if you're into that. The other thing that I got at the store was this print, and it is a print by Maria Sibylla Mirian, which I um, learned about not too long ago because I got a set of cards from her. And I also didn't realize that I had another of her prints and you saw that one in the video because they did have that as well. This one cost me I think $1.95. It says May 1991 so it is um, 30 years old, definitely vintage and I'm so happy that I found a second one and I hope that there are more out there because I really want to find a third one because things are just always better in threes. The last item I found at that store is this planter. It only cost me one euro and I didn't buy it um, to use it as a planter but I'm hopefully gonna use it as a vase. I uh, recently got a flower frog, so I wanna try my hand at one of those like Ikebana flower arrangements. The last store that I went to is where I scored all the planters. And then I just spotted this orange planter across the whole like hall that I was in. Uh, and I've been looking for one of those planters forever. This is the amazing 1970s orange planter. It costs only two euros and that is such an amazing deal it is so cool i love it i'm i might just have to keep it i did find two other planters both vintage both are gonna be in my shop in the future this one is also marked made in germany and it does have a number on it which i can't really read right now it's orange the inside is a very dark blue navy color and it has this scalloped edge which is so cute and then this little cutie with this kind of avocado aka 1970s or maybe even like olive color and it has this wavy pattern with those dots on it if you like this video make sure to check out these ones here on this side thank you so much for watching if you're not subscribed already make sure you do because i post a new video about thrifting and secondhand finds every week i will see you in my next video have a great day bye